the station. The Morning Show starts now. There is something special this Saturday, a Positively Jack's event. So take a spin at this. It's a group called The Laundry Project. They will help families who need a boost clean their clothes. The offer is at two local laundromats, and we have the details about this worthwhile group, how you can get involved and give back to the community. Really a great service there. Positively Jack's group. How about this one? I love this story. A local group wants to help you do your laundry for free. Mm -hmm. This is a chance to be closed-minded, and it's okay. We're going to take a spin at it. Oh, God. Understand my puns here. Man. Understand. Get closed-minded. Oh, closed. Oh, oh. Wow. Aye. That was good. All right. We're going to tell you how. And yeah. it's a great thing right it here is. in our community. People that just need a little bit of an extra boost, really going to get that this weekend. Yeah. This next story is Positively Jax. It is something that you may take for granted, being able to do your laundry. But for many people in our own community, it's not always possible because it can be so expensive. Well, the Laundry Project is part of Current Initiatives, which is a nonprofit organization. And joining us to tell you how you can get involved and how they are helping the community, Jason Sowell, the founder of the Laundry Project, and Ashley Ruiz, who has been very active and working <laughs> very hard to get the word out to the community. Very so, so, Ashley, let's talk to you first of all. What is the Laundry Project? Some people have seen it on social media recently. Explain it to us. So the Laundry Project is a pretty simple um, initiative that Jason started about 10 years ago, and the goal is just to bring dignity and hope to the community through clean clothes. Mm -hmm. Jason, how does it work? So we partner with laundromats in low-income communi communities and provide free laundry services. So we basically turn a laundromat into a community center mm -hmm. for a few hours and bring in a team of volunteers. So when a family comes in, they wash their clothes, but the volunteers are putting quarters in for them. We have all the soap and supplies that they need to do their laundry that day. Because if you have a family of five, six, seven, it can be expensive and it can be time consuming. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people absolutely. spend their entire day off basically at the laundromat, which right. we don't want to do. Right. Yeah. And if you have a washer and dryer at home, you just put your stuff in and you go, go about your business right. around your house or whatever and come back to it. You go to, to a laundromat, you're there, you're stuck in there for however much time it is. Uh, with your kids, trying to keep them under control while they're trying to do laundry as well. So it's definitely a chore. Okay. Ash, is it a surprise or, I mean, how do we know about where these laundromats are? Yeah, we try to make it as much of a surprise as we can. I think that's kind of the cool thing about this is these people are waking up in the morning fully expecting to spend their hard-earned money fulfilling a basic need of doing laundry. So when we show up and say, hey, we'd like to just, you know, take that from you, they... Some people kind of uh, approach us a little bit of hesitation, but other than that, I mean, they're pretty gracious to just let us do our thing. Hey, we're just here for you, just and for you. they have a lot to gain. Ah. Right, sorry, I'm sorry. Sometimes my jokes can be a little washed out. <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, it's okay. We're closed-minded, you know? Don't worry about it's it. It's okay to be closed-minded in, in that regard. I love it. Well, a whole lot of puns here. So, first of all, if you want to benefit from this, mm -hmm. anything you can do? You can go to laundrybycurrent.org. We have all of the locations um, listed there. And we're not just in Jacksonville. We are nationwide. There are several states that we sure. have these projects going on, and especially in, uh, in Florida. So laundrybycurrent.org. Yeah, and, and second of all, you're going to need people to help out, right? You're still absolutely. looking for volunteers, even for this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Volunteers, uh, sponsors as well. I mean, I'll take all your quarters so that we can mm -hmm. put them in machines for families. Uh, but, yeah, we're always looking for people who can give in different ways. They can donate soap. They can donate... Uh, money, they can volunteer, and they can find that information on the site as well. And if you were to go to volunteer, just a couple of hours, right? Nothing too right. hard to do. Yeah, no, just a few hours on a Saturday morning, real easy. Uh, you don't even have to do people's laundry. You're not there to do it. You're just there to put quarters in machines and help them pour soap. There you go. It, it means a whole lot. So this has been going on uh, for quite some time. You've been yeah. doing it. What are the best reactions that you've seen? Obviously, some people, as you said, could be a little bit hesitant, but then yeah. when it finally happens and they realize, hey, this is legit, this is real, yeah. they're no longer wishy-washy. Yeah, exactly. I'm oh, sorry. Man, you're, you're on a roll this morning. I like it. Uh, no, there's uh, probably, probably some of the best are, reactions are people telling stories of like, now I can um, now I can throw a birthday party for my my child that I wasn't going to be able to afford. Now I can send them to school with clean clothes. 
Uh, we can buy groceries this week because mm -hmm. we're saving money being able to wash our clothes. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, is the, is the real fulfillment of it all, is that mm -hmm. they've they found some hope. And at the end of the day, it's just, it's just laundry. But through that, they found some hope that life can be better and we can get over this hump. Yeah, that is wonderful. Well, thank you guys for what you are doing. A great thing for the community. I know that you're going to make so many people smile on Saturday. And I do have to apologize that my jokes were a little coiny. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> the Laundry Project will be at two locations on Saturday. Organizers will pay for the laundry from 10 until 1. 10 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. Discount Coin Laundry on 26 East 9th Street and Discount Coin Laundry at 5552 Sutel Drive. And for more information, go to the website, which once again is... LaundryByCurrent.org. LaundryByCurrent.org. Dot org. We're also going to make sure we post that on our website, News for Jack's Morning Show section. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.